Hi students, today we're going to go over Unit 3, Module 1, Session 4, Candy Sales, Graph, and more. It says the organizers of a concession stand were thinking about making changes to the types of candy they sold. They made a bar graph to show the profits earned at the first two games of the season for each type of candy. Use the graph to answer the questions below. Show your work. So looking at the graph here, we see money for concessions. We see a legend here. The light gray is game one. The dark gray is game two. We see three types of candy, bubble gum, hard candy, sour streams, and the dollar amount, the price earned for these different candies. $1, $2, $3, going up to $10. Number one says, look at the information for bubble gum. What was the profit for bubble gum during game one? So I know game one is a light green, and I see it's at this line. So is this line $2? No. Is this line $1? No. It's in between. So if there's four lines in between, I know that the halfway mark would be $1.50, this mark would be $1.25, and the third mark would be $1.75. So how much did they, what was the profit during game one for bubblegum? The answer is $1.75. B, it says, what was the profit for bubblegum during game two? So looking at bubblegum, game two. So the lines are still the same. It's gonna be the same in the whole entire bar graph. So each line represents a quarter of a dollar, which is 25 cents. So game two, I see $3 and two quarters. That'd be $3.50. So for C, it says, how much more profit was made on bubblegum during game two than game one? So we're gonna find the difference because we're finding how much more. So what I'm solving here is I'm taking $3.50 and I'm subtracting $1.75. And so the difference here is, I could solve it out by using my subtraction strategies. Say 10 minus five would be five. And here I have to borrow again. And so 14 minus seven is seven. Sorry, that's a two, and two minus one is one. Or I can also think about looking at this graph and counting up. We're counting the difference between this line and that line. And so I could say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quarters. I know seven quarters is the same as $1.75. So a couple ways you can solve that one. So the difference is $1.75. Let's look at number two. How much more profit was made on hard candy during game two than game one? So we're looking at hard candy, game two versus game one. So we have to think, well, how, much, how much did they earn in game two? In game two, they earned $8. How much did they earn in game one? In game one, they earned $4.25. So we find the difference there. We're gonna subtract $4.25. And what is the difference there? So if I just count up from $4.25 to $5, I know that's 75, or that's, yeah, 75 cents to $5. What's the difference between five to eight? Five, six, seven, eight. So isn't it just $3.75? So I can also show it here on the graph by saying one, two, three, that's three quarters, that's 75 cents, gets us to $5. How, many, how much more do I need to go to get up to game two? $1, $2, $3. So it's $3.75. Another way to show that. So again, the answer is how much more profit was made? It was $3.75. For number three, it says how much more profit was made on sour streams during game two than game one? So what are we looking at? That's right, sour streams. We're talking about how much more profit. So we're looking at sour streams, and again, we need to record the difference between game two and game one. So game two was not at $8. It was at the line above, which is $8.25. So we're finding the difference between $8.25 and how much? Right here, not $3, but the line below, which is $2.75. So finding the difference between these two, let's look. Can I count up? That's 25. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 
four. Five dollars plus that 25 is 525 plus another 25 is five dollars and fifty cents. So the difference here, the, the greater the profit was five dollars and fifty cents more in profit or during game two. Look at number four. How much greater was the profit from sales of all three candies during game two than during game one? So much greater, greater was the profit from sales of all three candies during game two. So right, I have the profit of all three. And so our first profit amount was $3.50. Or excuse me, no, that was just during game two. The profit was $1.75. $3.75 and $5.50 and so we're adding that up because we're saying in all so we know we need to add $1.75 plus $3.75 plus $5.50 if you notice when I add I need to have the decimals lined up when I'm adding decimals and so I'm going to add right here and so that's going to be 0 carry the 1 14, 15, 16, 17, once again, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, add one more is 20. And now we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 5 is 11. And so what's my answer? $11 total profit between the three candies, total profit between the two games. Number five says, evaluate or solve the following. 12 times five times two. So this is kind of review of what we have done previously in this year. And so I'm thinking, what is the easiest way to solve this? I'm probably not gonna start with 12 times five times two. I don't know, I could. 12 times five I know is 60, 60 doubled is 120. But could I also do five times two? What's five times two? 10, what's 10 times 12? 120. So as you notice in both those scenarios, I get the same answer, which is 120. Looking at B, I have 24 divided by 4. I have 10 times 24 divided by 4. I know that when I see parentheses, I'm going to do this first. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 times 10 is 60. So this is 60. And let's now look at C. I have 150 divided by 10 plus 5 times 5. I'm going to do this parenthesis first. 150 divided by 10 is 15. And then 5 times 5 is 25. And I'm going to add those two. What's 15 plus 25? And that equals 40. Let's look at number 6. Trina said $1.05 plus $2.25 equals $3.75 because a dollar and two quarters plus two dollars and a quarter equals three dollars and three quarters. Do you agree with her statement? Explain. A dollar and two quarters. Okay, so that's her problem right there. What does a dollar and two quarters look like when I write it out? A dollar and two quarters. How many cents is worth, how many cents is two quarters? 50 cents, that's right. And so that would look like this. And so let's look. Does that one dollar and five cents match up with one dollar and 50 cents? Are those the same? Are those equal? The answer is no. And so that's why we would disagree. Because this, because one dollar and five cents equals a dollar and what? That's right, it equals a dollar and a nickel. Not a dollar and a quarter. Okay, so you're going to continue writing that out, that explanation. Let's look at seven. It says, evaluate or solve the following. One dollar, 37 cents. I could think of that as money. Or I could also just say one and 37 hundredths plus eight and 26 hundredths. So boys and girls, I highly recommend that when we're adding or subtracting decimals that we write them vertically because then that's easier to line up the decimals. So I'm going to go ahead and write this over here. I'm going to say 1 and 37 hundredths plus 8 and 26 hundredths. 7 plus 6 is 13. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 
the decimal comes straight down. 8 plus 1 is 9, so the answer there is 9 and 63 hundredths. Same with this one. I'm going to write it out vertically. 5 and 1 hundredth plus 5 and 10 hundredths equals... 10 and 11 hundredths. Let's look at the challenge. A box holds 540 balls. Each layer has 18 balls. How many layers does a box have? So 18 times what equals 540 balls? I know that because a box holds 540 balls. Each layer has 18 balls. How many layers does a box have? So it's going to be 18 multiplied by something equals 540. Now, how I'm going to solve this is I'm going to use a ratio table. I already know that I'm going to do layer and number of balls. Number of balls. So I know that one layer holds how many balls? 18. Let's see. So 10 would hold 180. 20 would hold 360, 30 would hold, that'd be the same as taking 20 plus 10, so what's 360 plus 180? Line of zero and zero is zero. Six and eight is 14. And then I'm gonna carry the one to the next place value because through three, plus 1 is 4. Carrying that 1 over is 5. And so the answer, oh, look, they already have the number of balls, 540. So how many layers is it? The answer is 30 layers. And that's all for tonight's homework.